Apart from being the technological capital of the world, a city with rich cultural heritage, Seoul is also known to have the most incredible street food of all Asia. So let's find out in this video all these incredible foods in Seoul. A heaven for any street food lover is definitely the Wanjang Market, which was established in 1905, making it one of the oldest traditional markets of all South Korea, and it reflects the vibrant cultural heritage of the country. It is renowned for its immense variety of street food stalls, over 5,000 food stalls of traditional and regional delicacies and also modern fusion dishes. The Wanjang Market became even more popular and gained international attention after it was featured in the popular Netflix series Street Food Asia. The series showcased the market's bustling food stalls and highlighted various authentic Korean street food dishes that are popular among locals and tourists alike. And talking about this series, a store that you cannot miss out when coming to the Wanjang Market is definitely number 70A, which belongs to Cho Jun Soon's, or better known as the Handmade Noodles Lady. She was featured in the sixth episode of the series and it highlighted her skills and dedication to preserving the tradition of handmade noodles. From her menu, I chose the Kalguksu, which is her traditional Korean knife cut noodles with a broth that is extremely rich and flavorful. The noodles are chewy and so delicious, very yummy yummy. I also chose the dumpling made of kimchi, which was very mouth-watering and delicious. All of this came up at only 9,000 won, so not bad at all, very good price and delicious food. Another must try is this place which is called here So Pancake, and they prepare the traditional pancake from here from Korea, the mung bean pancake, and I having it with a traditional drink from here which is called rice wine. Mung bean pancake, also known as bindeteok, is a popular street food in all South Korea. It is made by grinding soaked mung beans into a butter and frying it with various ingredients such as kimchi, onions or seafood. The result, a savory pancake that is crispy on the outside and soft in the inside. Also gets really really busy, as you can see. And this has been featured as well in the Netflix series Street Food Asia, South Korea. Really good. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you like it? Good food. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Venezuela. Venezuela. Ah, Venezuela. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice uh, food. Yeah. Very nice. Are you, where are you from? From Korea. <laughs> Korea. Oh, okay. Very nice. Korean. Very nice country. <laughs> so, actually, the name of the drink is called Chongha. The other nice people from Korea, they told me, they correct me. So, so you must accompany it with your pancake. So they give me to try this drink, bakoli, right? So it's also made with rice, but this one hasn't been separated for the rice, pretty much will be the explanation in short terms. So that's why it's white. And this one will be the clean one, but it's also the made with rice wine. So we got the bakoli and the chonha. So I just try it. Perfect. And very, very good. Thank you so much. And Samida. So I arrived another stall here, uh, which the food looks delicious. I'm just trying it now. It's the stall number eight. And in fact, people like Gordon Ramsay has come to eat here. So the food must be really, really good. They prepared it in front of you. The chicken as well. I ordered chicken and the kimbap which is like this uh, rice looks like sushi a little bit but with vegetables and typical uh, uh, kimchi and this one here is the tebuki so i have ordered the kimbap and the chicken let's try it try the chicken first it looks very yummy yummy spicy very tasty i like the texture Not the gimbap. Really good. Are you okay? 
So it's very, very yummy the food. Really, really good. I really like it. Now while I was eating, some uh, Korean people, they see you with the camera and they come and they give you a nice chat. Very friendly, the people here in general. <laughs> they give me also this drink here. Made of like seaweed. Uh, really good. So give me also a little bit of tebuki to try. <laughs> try the tebuki. Very good. So that was 10,000 won for all of that. Uh, even though I only ordered two things, which was the gimbap and the chicken, she was keep giving me things to try, which is really good. Uh, she was very friendly here at the stall number eight. Highly recommended. Um, yeah, it was really good. The chicken was really spicy, my taste, but it was delicious. <laughs> Another most try is the rice punch drink, which is a typical drink from here in Korea. Uh, so it is usually served as a dessert, so let's try it. Quite good, very sweet, but really nice. And you have all these um, rice grains while you, while you drink it. Oh yeah, definitely I must try, I like it. It's non-alcoholic drink, so yeah, even if you ask them to do it with alcohol, uh, they might be able to do it, but the typical is without alcohol. It costs 2001, so yeah, not bad at all. Another must try is the Korean walnut cake, which is this uh, walnut shaped uh, dessert. It costs 3,001 for 6 pieces, so not bad at all. So yeah, let's try it. Very good uh, choice for something sweet. So this is the walnut cake, so sort of like a walnut shape. And it has a sweet potato paste in the inside. So yeah, let's try it. Yeah, it tastes really nice. Really nice texture, not so sweet. But really, really good. I really like it. Very good sort of like sweet choice here in the Wonjong market. Another part that you got to visit for incredible street food is the area of Myeongdong, which is a lively shopping district, which is famous and popular for having so many shops and also some of the most incredible street food stalls of Osa. So we got all the food stalls here. Uh, you can find so many nice street food. And look what I found here, the famous Dalgona, which is, you might recognize it from the Squid Game the total successful series that you can see in Netflix. You might recognize it when they did the challenge in which they needed to remove the part of the inside without breaking the cookie. So yeah, this is called Dalgona and it's made of uh, honey. So yeah, let's try it. If I was in the Squid Game, I would have lost already because, well, actually no. When I was trying to open it, it broke one part, but I think <laughs> the inside is still all right. But yeah, it's really good. The price for this was 2001, so yeah, not bad at all. So really good, I almost finished it so quick, really tasty. If you come to Seoul, make sure you try the Dalgona is the name, from the Squid Game. Another must try is the Teboki, which is a simmered uh, rice cakes. And this is a dish which is very important to Korean uh, tradition, due to the fact that it's a dish that was generated back when the Joseon dynasty was ruling Korea and it was one of the main dishes for the royalty actually so let's try it. I have to come here to these stairs here in front because it's a lot of sauce and I didn't want to make a mess. So let's try it. It's meant to be uh, sweet and spicy. It has a lot of sauce so yeah let's have a try. The price for this dish is uh, 5,000 won so yeah quite a reasonable price and the portion is not bad. They say it's not spicy, but it's quite spicy. <laughs> Another must try is the teyaki, which is this pastry filled with either red beans, chocolate, or whatever uh, filling available they have. The traditional is with red beans, however, I wanted something more sweet, so I have mine uh, teyaki with chocolate Nutella. So yeah, let's try it. Mm. Tastes like a croissant, like a chocolate croissant. Not bad at all. It's important to note, the traditional has this shape, fish shape, inspired by the Japanese original teijaki. So many choices, so I'm showing you the most popular ones. Re recommend the, the cookies. Okay. Made of honey. 
So this is traditional uh, cookie. Yes. What's the name? Dragon Bear oh, cookie. Yes, Dragon Beer. Oh, okay, so what it's made of? Made of honey and mixed with something, mixed with syrup. Beer. Okay, yes. so here we go, Dragon Bear cookie, another traditional thing you can try. They prepare for you just right here. YouTuber. Yes, wow. and then they give you, the yeah, in a nice box. Thank you very much, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Like, oh. <laughs> something I've been meaning to try because it really caught my attention is the twist or twist potato or tornado potato, as they call it here. So it's this like, obviously, as the word says, fried potatoes with a tornado or a spiral uh, shape. So yeah, let's try. Maybe this is not like very traditional, but it's really, really popular all over the social media as well here in Korea. Very <laughs> really nice. They asked me if I wanted onion flavoring on top or the cheese. I really like the, the flavoring it has. Very really nice. Tornado potato. Wow, some stalls they get really really busy. This is the queue to, to, um, to eat Korean chicken, the traditional Korean chicken with this delicious sauce. I cannot wait to try it. I think they're worth, it's worth it queuing. <laughs> so finally the way this over, I got here my sweet and crispy uh, chicken. So I'm gonna try it soon. It was a very long queue, finally. And see that there is this a very popular kind of food. So yeah, let's try it. Cost me 7,000 won. Not bad, but you can get even you can get even the biggest one, which is twenty thousand one. But I think the one for seven thousand one is more than enough. Delicious. Mm. So good, so crispy, really, really good. One of my favorites. I love it. Even though I'm full, it's so delicious that I cannot stop eating it. I have left the. The bookie because I wanted to taste just the chicken, but really, really good. Definitely, I must try. And which one is your favorite Korean street food? Or which one would you like to try? Let me know in the comments below. Active notifications and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Travel wonderful!